Hello, this is one of several screencasts that demonstrate how Linksion Analyst Studio from 21CT can visualize NetFlow data. For this demonstration, we want to discover if we have any internal hosts communicating with known bad actors on a threat list. I will use the catalog as my starting point as I already have an analytic built to use an imported list of botnets. I'm going to run the domain botnet analytic. Simply click the green button and it will take the list that I have of known IP addresses of botnets and look to see if there's any instances where my internal host to talk to those known actors. In this case, there are two results. To take that to the new Link Explorer diagram, I simply click the icon which will now visualize that for me. Click Control A on the keyboard to select all items on the screen and then I can right click and request the re retrieve pattern details. This will pull in the additional connection information, link information between the nodes. As it pulls this, it'll group things together that are common and then visualize them on the screen for me. If I need to rearrange them to bring them into view, I simply click the Arrange All button. As everything comes into view, you'll start to notice some things. First, blue terminals indicate internal. The lightning bolt is a tag that indicates a high value asset. The Netherlands flag indicates the country of origin for the bad actor, the known botnet IP address. We can focus on that Netherlands flag and search other sources. We could look for its DNS or ASN information. We could even go out and automatically open a web browser and go to some of these third party sites and find out their view of the reputation of this site as well. Let's do that now. The search other sources call out automatically sends the IP address from the host we clicked on to the API on the McAfee Threat Reputation site. As you can see, it is marked high risk in both the email and the network category. We can do the same thing with the WASEC and call out to them. WASEC claims anything higher than three should be considered a bad site. Here, it's given a seven for malware and a 10 for honeypot. As we go to Zscaler, we can see that it's given it 100% confirmation as being a malicious site. As we look down to the details of how they've rated it, you can see that it is part of some known botnets. To summarize, we have NetFlow data being processed in real time into our Linksion server. We wanted to discover any internal host communicating with known bad actors on a threat list. We started with a list of known botnet domains that had been imported into Analyst Studio. From ALS Studio, we ran an analytic from the catalog to search for any internal host that have communicated with an IP address from that list. It found two internal hosts, which were also recognized as high value assets within the network. We then used the search other sources function to determine if our third party security reputation sites have this IP address as a high risk so we could prioritize our remediation steps. We found that this is a high risk communication and we should take immediate remediation steps. I hope you saw how easy it is to visualize relationships between threat list and NetFlow data. Look for our other screencasts on how easy Linksion can provide visualization of NetFlow data. Thank you.